Good morning. I thought for today's video we could have a little bit of a girly morning together. My name is Beth and I create fashion, lifestyle and beauty videos on my channel here. I'm also a mum of three. I'm 37 and so if you have just stumbled across this video, welcome. Today's video, I thought I'd do something a little bit different today. I was getting ready this morning and I thought, why don't we spend like a girly morning together? I've got a Zara delivery that's arrived, not like big enough to do a haul. So I thought we could just open that together in a more like casual way rather than doing like a huge haul. I also have some really amazing new beauty finds that I wanted to share with you. I've kind of switched my makeup up a lot. I've been wearing a lot less makeup recently. I think because I really like overhauled my whole skincare routine and my skin is generally like just clear all the time now. I'm just finding myself like leaning towards different products and I think as well since I've got like a little bit older I find myself reaching for different things change things up a little bit I'd say from what I was doing like with my makeup like six months ago even so I thought it's a perfect time to do like an updated like lightweight everyday natural makeup and just share with you some of the new products that I found because some of them are so good so we can do that first and then i thought we could open my zara package together because there's some really cute things in there i've got an event next week so i've ordered a few little bits there was a dress that i saw in store that i regretted not going getting so i've ordered that so we can try all that on together but yeah. so i've just done my skincare really quickly and yeah like i said i didn't realize you don't realize do you until you look back um how much your skin has changed and me and rick were looking at some photos on his phone that i've not seen in years like some of them were like from when we first got together like 2014 and 15 and i actually couldn't believe how bad my skin was and i think back then i didn't even um i didn't even like take a lot of care with my skin at all whereas now i really do and i've seen a huge difference so yeah, if you want me to do like a bit of a skincare, like how I've got my skin to where it is today, then let me know and I can do a separate video on that because I feel like there's just so much information to, like it needs a full video. This product I want to share with you is so good. I've added it into my skincare the last couple of weeks and I've seen such a difference. It is this brand new primer that I've been using and it's by a brand called Art Deco. Now I hadn't heard of them they're a new brand to me they reached out to me and i was like i need to test the products out first oh my god let me tell you i have fallen in love with so many of these and my makeup bag this is like my everyday makeup bag and only the good stuff gets to go in the everyday makeup bag and all of these products have been sat in here they have become firm favorites in my makeup routine so as soon as i've done my moisturizer I, and my spf my serum my um hyaluronic acid I then go in with this primer and I have seen such a difference to just like how glowy and and like how nice my makeup has gone on afterwards. I pop this all over my face and it just evens out your skin tone, it gives you the most lovely subtle glow and it's made my makeup so so nice can you see how that's just like evened out my skin tone so much and it feels so so nice so it is moisturizing smoothing and it has a very slight tint to it and it's just perfecting so most gorgeous natural base for your makeup then to go on if, if you're in that like clean girl minimal but like really perfect like looking skin this i'm telling you is my secret weapon at the moment. I'll link all these products in the description box for you. So I've been popping that on first before I put on my foundation. So I'm gonna do that now. And then I'm gonna show you what I've been doing differently to my eyes too. So that is my lightweight foundation, my usual concealer and contour gone on. And can you see literally like how just like perfect that has made it look it has made such a difference and it's gone on like an absolute dream then i have been using this which is a new product to me and it is the art deco eyeshadow base do you know what i really like about this i spoke about it on my youtube channel the other week how my eyes have been like really sore and sensitive and i found like i don't know what it is i don't know if it's age but like 
dry eyeshadows on my eyes not only number one like make them look a little bit older and like crepey but number two have been really irritating my eyes and I've been using this as not only a base but like a barrier and it also not only makes like a really natural eye look look really like clean it lasts ages and also it kind of gives more of like a creamy texture to my normal eyeshadows so what i've been really liking to do is putting this all over my lids all the way up to my brow bone and i find like it just can you see how it just like brightens your eye up i really like a bronzy kind of eyeshadow and when i put that on let me show you it kind of gives like any normal eyeshadow a really creamy kind of texture and finish to it and it means that I can just really like blend this bronzy shadow out and get a really like kind of like holiday vibes like a smudgy eye and it just kind of I don't know it just makes it go on so easy I love a bronzy eye bronzy eye when you've got blue eyes makes that blue pop <laughs> But can you see like literally just how easy it feels really nice on? It really keeps it in place all day without getting any of those like creases on your eyeshadow. And it's been really helping because it's not been like drying out my eye at all. It's just been leaving this really nice like creamy finish to it. So let me do the other eye and then I can show you the most amazing mascara. So I popped on just my normal eyeshadow eyebrow thing. But I wanted to show you a few other bits from the Art Deco range. This mascara I've been using for like the last week is brilliant actually. It's so good. I'm sure you all know I always I suffer so bad with like mascara under my eyes. I think it's because I wear contact lenses. I touch my eyes more than, than a normal person. They get like irritated. And I've been wearing this mascara all week. I don't think I've had, well, you might have noticed on the vlog. I don't think I've had any incidents where I've had mascara under my eyes. It is life changing for me. I have fallen in love with this mascara. It like clings to every single individual lash and like separates it out. I think it's the brush. It clings to every single lash and just allows you to like accentuate your natural lashes and just give the nicest natural finish. That is just one coat. Like you've seen how quick I just did that. But it's also really buildable. So you can just keep going and get a really like dramatic look if you wanted. I just feel like it's a new favourite. It's such a brilliant, brilliant mascara. There is no clogs. Every like little lash is just like fanned out. A miracle worker. My lashes are pretty rubbish at the best of times. So if it can do this my lashes, it can probably, I imagine it will do absolute wonders for people who've actually got natural, long, beautiful lashes because mine are short and stumpy and it somehow manages to separate them out, curl them up and give me these lovely lashes. It just doesn't happen to me ever. Literally going back now, it is the Art Deco Twist for Volume Mascara. I actually can't believe it. My lashes are so rubbish. <laughs> Somehow manages to give me some lovely lashes. I'm amazed. I'm gonna do the other eye and come back. So this is where we are up to so far. I've just put a little bit of bronzer on. I'm not going to go through like every single step of my makeup. There was just some key products I wanted to share with you. This is another one from Art Deco also. It is the most gorgeous nude colour. I feel like I've been searching for this nude for my whole life because I love a nude lipstick. I love quite a pale lipstick and also a peachy <laughs> lip and these are like it's got all the kind of tones of all those things. It's like nude, kind of pale, kind of peachy. Some nudes I find are too dark. They wash me out. And I feel like this is the most perfect lip colour for me. I will pop the code and all the details in the description and also on the screen. For every day, it is like the most perfect, perfect nude and it lasts so long. I've also been using this on top, which is the Magic Fix and it makes your lipstick last all day. You just pop it on top 
And I thought this was a bit gimmicky, but it's so not, and it doesn't dry them out. It just prolongs the wear of whatever lipstick you're wearing. And I was a little bit concerned because I generally have very dry skin and my skin just dries out, my lips dry out. I thought this might be too harsh for it, but it's just really not. It somehow keeps the moisturizing effect of the lipstick, um, but it also keeps it in place. I literally don't know how, to, how it does it. So I had that and then to finish off, I've also been adding this every single day, which is the Art Deco 3-in-1 Fixing Spray. And I just go over with a little spritz. And that just holds my makeup in place. The combination of the primer and then the fixing spray is what is really working to just keep my makeup in place. But I'm so happy with it. I feel like it gives a really nice, like everyday natural like not too harsh look when you're going for like a natural everyday makeup sometimes the downside is that it doesn't stay on your face all day and i feel like the combination of all of these products is what has been holding my makeup in place all day it's been so so good i'll link all the products in the description box for you i also have a discount code so i'll put that on the screen and in the box I just needed to show you girls these. I only ever share with you products that I genuinely like rate and have tried and love and all of these I absolutely love. They did send me some other products but these are my favourites that I have found. So what do you think? I'm quite happy with this. This is like my everyday makeup that I go for now so let me know what you think. I'm really happy that like brown eyeshadow, like brown bronzy eyes have come back. It's a very like naughty trend of makeup and I'm very happy about it. I keep switching between like a bronzy eye and a brown eye. I used to always wear brown eyeshadow, year 2000, and I'm so happy because they just make my eyes stand out. If you want me to do like a full rundown of all the makeup products I absolutely love, let me know in the comment section. And also if you want me to do a skincare video and share, you, share with you what I've been doing with my skin to get it this clear over the last, I'd say like two years, it's been a two year process, then also let me know in the comments. But um, I'm going to pop all this makeup away and go get my Zara delivery and we can go through that because I need to find an outfit for next week and I also just picked up some extra bits as well so we can open that together. So I'm going to go and grab that now. Oh, I don't think there's, I just don't think there's enough in this to do like a proper, proper full haul. So I thought we could just go through this together. I have this little bag. I actually did a little come shop with me. Um, and brought you guys along um, while I try some things on in Zara. Um, I don't actually know which will go up first, this or the Triumph. But if it's this first, spoiler alert, all the four things that I tried on, these were the only thing that I got. I thought these were so cute. They're new Zara and they're like, a, they're called their mini flare. And they have them in loads of different colors. I wanted the white because I don't actually have a white pair of jeans. It's something that I don't usually wear, but I thought this year, um, with like my Birkenstocks and stuff, I think I actually get quite a lot of wear out of them. So I tried them on in a size 10, and they were a tiny, tiny bit too loose. So I went for the 8, which usually I can't get an 8 in a Zara jean. They're usually far too small, but the jeans are just all over the place. And they're just a really nice straight-legged, high-waisted, and then they slightly flare out and they're slightly cropped. They're very similar actually to the Levi's that were on my Amazon haul. Um, but I just thought they were so cute. They were 29.99. And yeah, I got the size eight and I think they are just gonna be a really, really nice for summer. They did have them in other colors as well. Like your normal like blue and black and things like that, but that rhymes. <laughs> blue and black and things like that. Um, but I went for the white. So, sorry, I just thought I was looking really pale and pasty on the viewfinder then. I think it's just the light. I don't know. This camera is absolutely had it. I need to find myself a new camera. So anyone has any camera recommendations, please do let me know. So yeah, they were the first thing to show you from Zara. And then I also ordered just a few little bits as well. So let's open them up together. Okay, so the first thing and the reason why I wanted to do this order in the first place is because I saw this beautiful dress when we went shopping the other day. But I saw it on the way out of the store, you know, like, I was so annoying because I'd been into the changing rooms 
and I saw it on the way out and I was like, oh, I can't be bothered, Rick had had enough. And I was like, I can't go back in now. I kept thinking about it. I've got an event um, on, I've got an event in London on Thursday or Friday. I'm not sure which one it is. But I wanted something to wear. And I thought this would be really cute. When I first looked at it, I was like, whoa, that's really booby. But then it's actually to wear with like a top underneath, I think. Personally, I would never wear it just like as low cut as it is. I didn't know what size to get. So I ordered the medium. And I hope this is a small... Oh no, I ordered two mediums. Oh, <laughs> how annoying. Right, well I'm gonna have to try this on and if it's too big, so that's really helpful. Um, I'm gonna have to just hopefully just order, if it's good, order it for next day delivery in a small if it's too big. So yeah, it's just like this really gorgeous white tweed. I thought it was like Chanel vibes and I really liked the little buttons on it marbly with this gold detail and I thought this is the kind of dress that I can wear and feel really comfortable in with just like a long sleeve basic top underneath and I just have my legs out some cute little shoes so that was the dress it was 45.99 so kind of pricey and to be honest it's not even lined which is really quite annoying for that kind of price I mean really for 45.99 it should be lined especially because it's white and um, has the potential to be quite see-through we will see I got Oh, I got this little basic top just to pop underneath. I actually think I already have this. I do actually already have this. It looked different on the website. God, this is a failure already. <laughs> Two of the same thing. Something I already own. So I ordered this in a small. This is going to be way too small on me because I have the medium and it's already too small. I'm really booby. So I'll grab my medium out to try on with the dress. Okay, this is the dress on. I do feel like it is the one, but I need to order the small because this is medium and look, it's like, it comes too low and it's too big. Whereas if it was just a little bit smaller on the shoulders and a little bit tighter, it would look absolutely perfect. This is 100% the one. I've just put a different bodysuit on because I know I'm not gonna fit in that small bodysuit. But this is a cute little outfit, isn't it? And then with the shoes, it's real like 90s Chanel vibes. I really like this and I know I'll feel super, super comfortable in this. So I'm gonna send this one back and reorder the small. Yeah, I knew as soon as I saw it, I was like, that dress is gorgeous. It will, I will love it. I will feel really nice in it, but it's just too big, which is so annoying. Look, it's just like huge here. So let's get the small and um, you should be able to see it in a vlog next week because I'm gonna vlog while we're in London. Oh, I got this dress to try as well because I thought this might be quite cute. I've seen loads of like puff ball-y dresses everywhere. Kind of like square neck, long sleeved, and it's like a ribbed, like really thick, elasticated material. And then it's got this big puffy skirt. And I thought that would be a really cute option for the event as well. These insane heels that I saw on Zara. I've been wanting a, pa a pair of platforms. How amazing are these? They are a square toe, very slightly platform, like black heel. And I thought they would look really cute with the dress. These were 55 99 so a little bit pricey, but they feel pretty good. Sometimes like platforms can be a little bit um, clunky and heavy, but these feel really light. The dress is 49 99 the heels are 55 99 so let's try those on. This actually feels so comfortable to wear. I love it as well with the leather jacket over the top. Again, it just makes it so much more like casual and throwing together rather than, I feel like this dress could look very young and very like you're wearing a dress that's made for a 19 year old, but just by like chucking a jacket over the top just gives it much more of a like casual vibe to it. And then the heels, oh my goodness, I'm obsessed with these heels. I think these are definitely staying. This is a contender too because I know I'll feel really, really comfortable. Because London is like just not dressy at all. So I want to be like casual but also dressed up. And I feel like number one, I feel covered, I feel comfortable. It's not too dressy because it's actually a day event as well. And number two, these heels will not hurt my feet at all, even if I wear them all day. Oh my god, I'm getting so old. Oh, I have to move my back, it's like aching like mad. Okay, okay, we're good. 
I saw loads of these like corsety, lacy, like really romantic um, tops. They had loads of different options in Zara. And this is, I mean, this is gonna be quite booby for me. But I thought this could potentially be another option to wear for the event. This is a size medium and it's just like this really gorgeous like lacy, bralette, corsety bodysuit. It was $22.99, which I think is actually a really good price for that because it feels and looks lovely. And then I got these jeans to try because I thought these like really gorgeous, relaxed, wide leg jeans with the bodysuit could be a really nice like comfy casual outfit and then put some nice heels with it. I actually have an ASOS order that has arrived. We'll do a little haul with it. Um, but I got some really gorgeous like lace up heels, which would look amazing with these jeans and this bodysuit. So that is the kind of vibe I'm going for. But I hate my arms, so I don't know. Maybe I'll just have to do like a million press ups and arm toning exercises between now and um, Thursday. Or I suppose I could wear like a little shrug or something like over the top. Um, I don't know. I'll try it on and have a little look and we'll see what it's like. Okay. So this is the top and jeans on. I kind of like it, but it's very, very, very booby for me. I don't generally <laughs> ever have this much cleavage out. I also feel like it's a little bit unflattering on this little bit here. And also, if I have a little drink at the event, I know for a while I'm gonna be like, <laughs> and it'll be like just really unflattering maybe. I don't know. I do like it though. I love the jeans. The jeans actually feel so good. I love the fit on them. And they're that really nice like vintagey style, like really thick non-stretched denim, which I love. Um, they're really lovely with the heels. I like this, but I don't know whether I'll feel comfortable. It kind of feels like it's digging in a bit here. Um, but what a gorgeous little top it is. If you like getting your boobs out, it's a really gorgeous little outfit. It's kind of like dressy, but casual at the same time. Um, maybe just like a blazer over the top or something, or like my, my oversized leather jacket. Really casual, but also like a pretty cool little outfit. So what do we think? Do we like? Do we not like? I'm not sure. Really pretty, isn't it? I love all these like corsety, like underwear as outerwear. Um, but I keep doing this look. I'm constantly doing this. Maybe it's a bit big or maybe it's a bit small. I can't quite work it out. See, I like that, but then that feels a little bit too casual. Um, for like an event. I don't know, what do you think? Or maybe, maybe not, I don't know. So I hope you enjoyed spending the morning with me. I'm so happy I found an outfit for next week because it was stressing me out a little bit and I wanted something nice to wear. It's actually the first event I've been to since lockdown. I've been invited to loads, but um, it was when I was like going through my treatment and stuff and I just did not feel up to going to any kind of events or dressing up. So it's actually really nice to be like going somewhere and having something nice to wear. I really hope as well you enjoyed like doing my makeup with me this morning and me sharing more like beauty and makeup stuff usually but it is something I want to share more of because I absolutely like I'm a big skincare junkie and I love trying out new products so um if that is something you want to see more of do let me know in the comments and if you've got any like video requests or anything you want me to review or try out let me know in the comment section and I will make sure that I test them out and let you know what I think of them all I'm gonna end this video here hope you've really enjoyed it and I will see you all really soon love you loads guys bye